Captain America! Come here, you! Come here, you! Yes, sir! Here, hop in Dukes of Hazard style! No, oh, don't yeah. no. Dukes of Hazard! Do it like the Dukes here! Let's go, baby! All right! All right, how are you, my friend? Oh, I am electrified and ready to get my drinking on! <laughs> I do have some cash, too, this time. I was gifted uh, $8. They stole it. Oh, and, uh, who, who stole it? A bunch of, uh, what do you call them, uh, junkies. Uh, uh, reprobates? Yeah. All right, uh, well, we're going to pray for them. All right, let's pray. Okay, we pray for the people who stole Captain America's money. And please give it back. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, living on the streets, you got to pray. There it is. Living oh, on, it's in there. You even, you, you, I swear to God, you even have your Captain America there shirt on here yes. today. Yes. Did you see what they did to me? What did they didn't they didn't they whip you? Did they? Me. No, you see the cross there. Oh, it, it just appeared all of a sudden. Huh. Well, you're you're pretty much a man of the cloth, aren't you? Yes, sir. You you, you look you look fantastic. All right, bye, Travis. You look. Oh, is that Travis? Yeah. Does Travis need a bottle of water? Ask you need some need. water, Travis? Here, Travis, you come need on. some water. All right, look. Okay. We love Travis. He's a dishwasher down Shalom. Oh, is he? Yeah. Well, God bless his heart. He's a great person. Yeah. So lay it on me. Paint me a all picture. Right. Tell me a story. <laughs> Sing me a song. I want to hear about what you've been doing all morning. <laughs> Break it down and kick it in some holes and turning over some tables and knocking out some teeth. No, really. Um, I broke all the rules and just simply said, um, I love you. And they said, God bless you. And I said, I hope so, because you just met him. <laughs> well, living on the streets, you got to practice what you preach. That's what I said. They said, are you being honest? And oh, I said, uh, here, here, here's our buddy Gino. You know Gino? Oh, Gino? Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the, the, he usually, he's, yeah. a lot of times he has a blanket. Yeah. And it says, we're going to see I call him the mummy. He's, my, he's the one that puts me at the library, and then I give him a big oh, hug, he, he, and now we're friends. He, he, Gino! Here, you need some water, brother? All right. Got some water for you there, sir. How All right, go ahead and reach How reach many? on back. All right. Yes, sir. What's happening, Gino? Good, how are you? Doing doing all right, brother? Here, you know what? Here, we'll give you two. That's the one for you, and give give another one to a brother in need. Okay? You got you doing all right? Good. Look for me, I'll help you. All right. I love you. Love you too, buddy. Yeah. All right. You, you guys actually got into fist, fisticuffs? No. He just uh, was having a bad day, and he came all the way across that room and gave me a good left. And I was just holding my phone, but I dropped the phone and it busted. Did you go down? Did you wind up on the no, side of the carpet? Kinda, I kind of wobbled and looking at my phone, and they all surrounded me, the staff, and got me away from him, and got him pulled off to the side. And he's, uh, well, he, he avoided hey, me. Hey, bro, you want a bottle of water? You, you thirsty? All right, we got plenty. <laughs> All right, keep rocking. Hey, you too. All right. You know, what's he, on the menu today? He, 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 he doesn't look like he's down and out, no. but he does look like he needs some water. So. He does. But so he's, he's one of them. Then, that, well, I won't tell. No, I've been naming names. That's what I'm doing today. Well, I'll tell. I'll tell you what, Captain yeah. America. You gotta dig your well before you get thirsty. Oh crap! Isn't okay. that a good idea? I like it, but my well is so deep right now, and I had a fire. I had, I've been burning fires every day and night. Like the like Moses in the burning bush? Yes, sir. Wow. Oh, do you still have those spectacles? Um, Lucky has them. Lucky? Yeah. Lucky. Is, is Lucky Lucky, or is that just his name? Oh, he's Lucky. <laughs> he always gives people's purses back when they steal them, or he finds them and phones everything. Oh, what a, what a nice guy. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll yeah. tell you what. How about Ooh, these? Why don't you, you, why don't you, why don't you try these on? <laughs> Let's see how we look. Here there. we go. Okay. All right. I'm sorry I didn't comb my hair today, but I did that on purpose. Because they said I look like Captain Caveman this morning. <laughs> and I said, where did you call home? last night um green county or wherever you lay your on head on hill no i'm i've been sleeping under the roof wherever you three meals a day no you got a girlfriend no sir they were all <laughs> men except the ladies that were hanging around because you know a lot of times you get a girlfriend next thing you know what there goes your freedom <laughs> you know what i mean 
My ex-wife's been talking to me every day, but I cut her off. Well, wh why, did she say something? Did she have a cantankerous attitude with you? Uh, 34, 36 years of correction, and she still wanted to correct me about the sweat lodge. Oh, you're just trying to disrupt things. So they said, all right, you're being disruptive. Would you please go back to whatever you were doing before you came here? <laughs> I said, I had the day of my life before I came here. I got to ride with uh, Zeus, the god of lightning and thunder, in a, a classic convertible. And we went around and we just drove in the country and we showed everyone that good things are possible. They just keep loving each other. And they said, well, we hate you. I said, uh, okay. Oh, they didn't mean that. They were, they were, spe they were, they were just, spe they were just speaking out of anger. I still love them. Bless them. That's what an old, an old timer once told me. Just say God bless them, and, and maybe someone will pull up alongside you in a nice car and say, "Hey man, jump in, let's ride." Yeah, it's a, it's a blessed life. Now, were your in-laws? What did you get along well with your in-laws, or was your mother-in-law? Well, let's see if this guy needs needs a little wah wah. Um, was uh. Your mother-in-law can cantankerous one. Oh boy, I'm, she's I'm, the first one to attack me. I, I'm I'm using that word cantankerous again. Right. Okay. I hope she That's wasn't. A good one. Yeah. How do you, you say that? How do you say that in German? Uh, I'm not sure. Hey man. Yeah. Uh, are you doing all right? I'm cool, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you know what? Pass that, that pass that one on. Yeah, no. All right. <laughs> yeah. I like your staff there. Woo! Yeah, what, what's your name, please? Uh, Mark. All right, I, I'm the Vagrant's Valet, and this is my wacky sidekick, Captain America. Uh, I've met him. Yeah, yeah. If, if you see us out <laughs> on the street, look for us. We'll help you. I got you, brother. Okay, keep rocking. Bless you. <laughs> you. You know that cat? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did he, did he give us a fake name? No. No, he seems like an honest guy. He's very genuine. Yeah, he seems like it. Some some people are just effervescent with the truth and hope in a delightful countenance. And I think that, that gentleman qualified. Well, he saw something very, very uh, wicked, and he's trying to get his mind around it. What he he looks a lot like that guy from the movie, too. That's where he thinks he is. The guy from uh, the Django. Django? Yeah, the Django with... Uh, uh, Red Fox. Yeah. Oh, Red Fox. That was Sanford and Son. Right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Jamie Fox. No, oh, okay. Three X's. Yeah. Okay. And when that dog uh, attacked, they let him chew that man to death. Oh, no. Yeah. He thinks he's the guy that was standing there. What? Does he really? He thinks so. What? He believes it. He believes it. And he can't get past it. What? What? Um. So now, now the mother-in-law, your mother-in-law, oh. was she a real battle axe? Because sometimes they call the mother-in-law the old, the old battle axe. She pissed me off. Oh no, just a little bit. And then I said, okay, what? What was she trying to do? Getting in your business, saying go get a job and all that? Oh, that was, that was a long time. But I separated for, a, well, a generation more or less, about thirty years. I think. Was the first attack. I told her everything about my life to that moment because I was about to marry her daughter. Did we and weren't even engaged yet, but I was going. She said, "You will not take my daughter from me." Was it the long hair that she objected to? Oh yeah, because back then I well no, I was short hair at that moment. But after that, I grew three long braids all the way down to my spine. Did she take umbrage to that? No, she kind of wanted to have sex with me. <laughs> And I said, no, thank you, mother. Yeah. I would call her mom then. And after that, I said, Alice, if you want to go back to the way things are, then just keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the old man, your father-in-law? Was he, uh... He was in love with my wife. Because it's his step, the stepfather. Uh, and he bought the family house for... My wife. What was it? Was his teenage daughter at the stepdaughter at the time? What, what, was it a bungalow? Uh, no, a two-story with a, a full basement. Did the and guy? Attic. Did the guy have a quick temper? Did he have a short fuse? Yeah, very much, because I had to uh, choke him. One day. <laughs> oh no! Do it. I, he attacked me in front of her, and I, I just saw. Okay, well, this, this, this guy's. 
the, the, this, <laughs> this guy's spaced out here. But, uh... Oh, it's, it's okay. <laughs> well, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know her. I didn't, I, 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 yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't know her pronouns. I guess. You know what they're trying to say about you after our ride over there well, at the Shalom. Oh, what did? Rebecca they, Gillespie. I'm naming names. I'm did, done. No, I'm not done. I'm just. Well, oh, they start. do. They do a great job at the Shalom Center. Shout out they, to the. Shout out to the Shalom Center. All right. Yeah. That, was that a rebel yell? No, uh, it's a call to arms. <laughs> oh. Peace to arms. We don't use weapons, but boy, they sure cut me up pretty good after I saw you. Stitched up so, all right, though, didn't it? No, you look, you look great. Okay. So now, yeah. the father-in-law, did you guys, you guys used to duke it out? No, only one time. And uh, after that, he said, I thought you were gonna kill me. This did, was years later. What was he, did he call you names? Yes. Uh, well, um, he, he got to push her in front of me, right? Like we're standing here at the top of the stairs, so I sent him down the stairs. I, and then I got. Well, I well, grabbed well, him. Let's see if this dude wants a, a bottle of water. You need any water, dude? Brother? How about you? Yeah. Don't? Right. How, about a, water? how about a bottle of water here? Oh, no, we're good. I got some. Yes, yeah, you do. What, how about the pooch? I got some for her, too. Oh, okay. What's the pooch's name? Daisy. Daisy, right on. Hey, you have an outstanding day. You too. Keep rocking. All right. Oh, and I've been on a... I've been told I, I need to take a course. From... From my studies on the university. Well, the, until spring. Well, Timothy Leary used to say, turn on, tune in, and drop out. Well, I'm going to Ivy Tech. <laughs> well, what, 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 well, you'll you'll show them. Well, what, what's what's your uh, course study at at uh, um, I, uh, Indiana University? Yeah, that's social work. What oh, else? yeah. I mean, that was a forced thing too, because my passion is IT. Now, did you and the provost not see eye to eye? Oh no, um, me and the president. Didn't. Oh, the president. <laughs> Who, she, pa Pam Whitney? Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do you know the uh, esteemed president? We have not even seen each other face to face yet, but she has got it out for me. Big time. Oh, hey see, if, see, see, if, see if these guys need some water. Class, you guys need anything to drink? You, yeah, ask water? them if they want some water. Would you like some water? Agua? 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 Agua. Yeah. Agua. There, there you go. What, okay. What, 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 what's your name? What? Ronald, Alex. Alex, what, what are you guys working on? What are you guys, what are you guys working on today? Okay, thank you. What are you guys? Uh, tra Traba, Trabajo, Trabajo. Okay. <laughs> mucho caliente. Oh wait a minute, we got two more here. Let's, here, we got some agua for you. Oh. There you go. Thank you very much. Yeah, get one, one, one for him. Oh no, we got another one. Hang on. Okay, we got this. Uh, uno, dos, tres. Okay. Thank you. Take a siesta. Take a Ooh. siesta. You guys travel a oh, hoe too, too hard. Too hard. Siesta time. Okay. All right. Okay. All, right. All right. See you later. You're an awesome dude. That's what I told him. I said, you will stop uh, yeah. broadcasting. Didn't those guys Didn't those guys look like they needed a siesta? Yeah, I would. <laughs> yeah. They got some nice hats, though. They you, wanted these sunglasses. I, I think I don't I don't know if those were sombreros or what exactly they had going on, but you could tell those guys have been working since like six a.m. Damn. Those guys work and there is no sloughing off. What they get to drink though before they start the job. They could drink a case of beer yeah. and then at oh no oh not not, not not those guys those what? guys those guys were sober men of principle. Oh nice yeah they must have been raised well because uh, I haven't had a drink in weeks weeks. So then, what's uh, what's going on? Go ahead. What's going on for the the fall there? What what's what's your plan? Are you are you free as a bird, or you got some housing lined up, or I got nothing. <laughs> they stole everything the night before I left. Well, what I wrapped you... myself up in a tarp and laid there by the church steps, and the next day I rock and roll. I was supposed to go to Malibu House Number Two, right there by Seminary Park. Well, freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. You remember that old? Ooh, I love that. Jan, 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 yeah, yeah, oh yeah. 
she she was a she was a she was a powerful lady. Now we might be violating uh, campus policies, right? Oh yeah, you're a fugitive, aren't you? No, no, I'm free and clear, brother. I'm free and clear. All right, well we'll just <laughs> we'll just do a little we'll do a little dosey do here, awesome. as they say. Fantastic. So yes, I said to them, um, I said Rebecca, that is a good man. She said, isn't he exploiting the homeless witness? Who, who is it? Who's this Rebecca? She's the crisis case manager at uh, Shalom. Oh, she's not a fan of the vagrants ballet? She is now because I said, um, do not bear false witness on this man. I'm here to tell you right now before I go on vacation. I, I can't quite, can't quite oh, hear you. Oh, I told her right now before I go on vacation, I want you to hear one thing. That is a man of principle and good heartedness. And these are the things we did on our outing. We did not record them on podcast, but I turned it around and asked him about his experience and shared some things that I had learned about him. And I know what kind of discipline it takes to be a good person who gets everything back. And I don't have nothing, Mr. Zeus, but you helped me last time in almost the same manner. And I'm more than happy to hand this over to you right now. Oh, if you need. No, 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 but there will be a day where I might be down and out, and I, appreci- right. I appreciate your kind gesture, of course, okay. and I appreciate you. Uh, uh, I appreciate you advocating on my behalf because you know, anytime you try, a lot of times when you try and do something, you're gonna get naysayers. Yes, that's right. You're, I, I must you, wait. You, 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 you're gonna get people. You're gonna get people trying to trying to question your motives on on YouTube yeah. I'd say about one and most most of the comments I get are very gracious very supportive but then I do get a few naysayers a few grinches in the comment section of the vagrants valet YouTube channel yeah you know some real there's yeah. there's some real scrooges out there not very many one in 20 maybe one in 30. You remember what they said about me last time we were talking when we went out to the lake looking for the eagles? Um, they said that I was a, a, an undercover CI confidential informant. And I told you I'm that in the angel way, right? They think you're a confidential informant, and that's why you're uh, like, doing that. Like espionage? Yeah. Oh. All the way down the line. Okay. And also about drinking that out of that water jug. They did not believe that that's what happened because public intoxication is against the law in an open container in Monroe County, in Bloomington specifically. So when I was on campus, drinking that hurricane <laughs> outside the Union. Um, <laughs> that, was, that was an enterprising uh, way of doing things, my friend. I, I, I hadn't, and all, and all the, in all of season one of the Vagrants Valet, Captain America, I'd never seen that. It was the most, what, you said it was the most beautiful. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I so yeah, oh, absolutely. But I only had one question. You're a Why? fan, you're a fan favorite. Put your money away, you're making me nervous. <laughs> you're making me nervous. <laughs> also, I can't do that, because they'll get it quick. All right, what, what was your question? Oh, can we go to Big Red Lake? <laughs> Well, I, I I gotta get going here, right. I, but Can I'll drop, drop I'll drop there? you off. Thank you. Where, Bless you where, so much. Wherever right wherever here. your your Please. gracious Thank heart you. desires. That's and my favorite store. I'm, I go there. Are, are you price. are you are you a known commodity in the? Uh, yes, I'm kind of a. You, have you achieved regular status? Yes. Okay. And I should get, um, well, a bonus, but I don't know how or when. I just go with it. Did you make it to church over uh, on Sunday? I did. Uh, what last night and Sunday? No, I mean not sleeping on the stairs of the no, church. No, no, no. Going like, in the to church. A new church. Yeah. It's called the City Church. It's oh. very strange. What 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 do you find peculiar about the uh, establishment? It's all black inside, and they spray this uh, smoke with uh, sterilizing chemicals in it, and uh, it can't hardly. That's why I let that out earlier to get the uh, Throat up a little bit, but some lubrication would be great too. Like some. the the potato juice. Yeah, you know potato juices. About it's amazing what those Russians can do with a uh, potato. <laughs> well, it, this was not part of my plan, but that's what I'm going to do next, and then go over to the hospital for 
few nights and then go hospital. take another vacation. Is something wrong? Huh? It's, why are you going to the hospital? Is something wrong? Because you have to be drunk. <laughs> Oh, if, if you show up sober, they don't believe that you nope. have a problem? Nope. They will not admit you. See, so they, they just... <laughs> you don't tell them then, I guess you kind of show them? Yeah. I'm sure you can be rather... Con you can be rather convincing, I'm sure. I hope so. Because I tried to convince them about a miracle. They wanted me to walk on water again, and I said, I already done it last Labor Day. And look it up. Everyone knows they saw it. The Wabash River in how far did you make it on the water? Probably all not. the way across and then all the way back. And I found something real special down underneath. I put my hand down in there in the middle in that channel. And I pulled out this very special rock. It had a bunch of carving and sculptures. And this is a true story. Was it a, like a, 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 a rune? Huh? Was it a rune? No, it was a cornerstone of the old Fort Harrison from up the river. It had washed down. It was very masonically intricately carved. They said, give that to the... Uh, Children's Museum, and I said, uh, hmm. And these kids come running over so happy. What is that? What is that? And I, from the projects, and I said, You want it? And they said, Yeah. <laughs> they carried the ride on home. Are you making this up? No, sir. It's okay. My, my I was, I was, I was, I was, to God's ear. I was not, I was not doubting your veracity. Oh, okay. All right. So the next one you might have little doubt, but I swear it's true. We caught a snake. Oh, no. Okay. Yep. A serpent? Yeah. It was not a, a viper. It was not venomous. Were you, were you scared? No, absolutely not. I was in, in, enthused, and I grabbed it by the tail because he was grabbing it by the head, the guy that got baptized. And uh, there was nothing in it, but when I pulled on his tail, the tail almost came off, and he got under this rock, and then all of a sudden this toad appears in its mouth. A big toad. It's a little snake about that long. A big toad appears in its mouth, and this toad is messed up. Dead is dead. Lungs crushed. Everything gone. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give it mouth to mouth and an F and an F It's one of, it's one of God's creatures. That's what I thought. And okay. so was the snake. So I don't know if it's worthy of mouth to mouth resuscitation though. Well and we thought it was solved. It's dead, but I was like, dude, if it's alive, we must save this toad. He said, it's dead. And then he wow. looked at it and the eye flicked and he said, Oh no, wait a minute, it might be alive. So he squeezes it out, right? And he's so happy about holding this snake, he goes running around all over to scaring people with the snake. And while he's doing that, I, I stretch out the, the toad's little legs and I breathe on it. And all of a sudden it moves, right? <laughs> and I see its lungs start to fill up and I wait a few minutes to see if he's still having fun. And I just bent down and got real close and I said, live. Live? Live. Oh, And man. instantly he hopped. <laughs> it was like a revival. Yes. Resurrection, and uh, no one saw it but me and the toad. And then my buddy Jeremy came over, and uh, he picked the toad up, and he said, "What we got here?" It was all covered in snake slime. <laughs> he said, "I'll take it down to the pond." He came back 20 minutes later, said, "That toad's just fine. He's happy as can be." Oh. And we let the snake go, and everyone lived and was happy and good well, story. Oh, it is. True story. It is. It is delightful. Yes, sir. Oh, we're here. That's it up there. All right. I'll take one for the team here, okay? I certainly, it's okay with me. <laughs> and you don't want anything? No, oh. no, I'm just gonna drop you off, like I said. Yes, sir. I gotta get going okay. and get some luncheon going and stuff like that. Could you prank me a sign? Can I, uh, what do they call that? Uh, consign you? Or what, what are you interested in? Uh, something for the, they call it flying a sign, but one of them out there. Um, oh, it says like what? Uh, we'll be helps. we'll be charming and delightful for food. Right, but just any anything you want on there, but just on the side. Uh, Jesus said, you, you, know, "You know what? Here, I'll tell I'll tell you what I can do." Okay. We, we, I'm gonna give you my sharpie. Yes. Okay. So then, all you need is a card piece of cardboard. Okay, that should be good. Be because it's hard to score a sharpie when you're living on the streets, isn't it? That sure is. Okay. Now that's, this that's gold. Cool. Yeah, it is. And uh, take good care of it. And don't be a sharpie smasher. When I was teaching grade school art, I'd give like a fourth grader a sharpie, and I'd yeah. say, "Now don't you be a sharpie smash smasher." And they'd say, <laughs> "Oh, I won't, Mr. Z." And they bring Mr. me. Mr. Z. They called you. Yeah, they called me Mr. Z. They did. It was a great gig. Smith right. Elementary School cool. in Columbus, Indiana. Yeah. Shout out to Smith Elementary. I miss you guys. I miss the kids. At any rate, yes. 
and the kid would bring back the sharpie. Do you think it was still a sharpie or a blunty? A blunty. Yeah, they would smash them down. But I for but I forgave them. They know not what they do. They do not. What if we put a sticker on there for you, real nice? Okay, well, we'll Black work on that. Maybe here. Jeremiah, the artist, can help you with that. You know Jeremiah? The guy, yes. the guy, he's he got still a, alive? Yeah, he's got that ZZ Top beard. Yes, he does. He, I think he sleeps over in the church stairs, too. Yeah, he got kicked out of the west side. He had a, a whole village going on there, and they said, you got to move, Mr. Benefield. You've got to move. Oh, yeah. All right, Did we love it. Are you going to buy a flower from him? That's what he wanted me to ask uh, you next time I saw You him. know what? I didn't, I didn't buy a flower because I don't have anywhere to put it, <laughs> and I don't have an old lady or anything. <laughs> But I gave him, I think I gave him, I bought him, I bought one and gave it back to him and told him to give it to a brother or sister yeah, in need. Yeah. All right, all right why don't you get All out, right. get, get out, no, Captain America style. <laughs> let, 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 let's see that, let's see that athletic there. Woo! Yeah. This is, this is, this is adventure, I tell you. All right. <laughs> hey, living on the streets, you've got to. you got to. Crack bit. you got to practice what you're front. Preach. Yeah. <laughs> Living on the streets, you got to practice what you preach. Okay, God bless you so much. And you know something? Um, I don't want to uh, hurt your feelings, but what do I owe you for the glasses? Uh, nothing. That's. Oh. They look so good on you. Woo! Now, how long do you think I'll be able to pull them? Well, you've got a Sharpie, you've got a pair of glasses, and you got the love of God in your heart. You've got it made in the shade, my friend. I got to ride in this. That's my favorite color. <laughs> All right. Keep on rocking in the free world, baby. Woo! Ding, ding. All right. Well, that's Captain America. I don't know his real name. Obviously, he's a fan favorite and a regular. We have regulars here on the Vagrants Valet in a vet season two channel here. It's looking like a good one. Captain America there, he always has a real positive attitude. He's always got a little song, a little dance, and uh, look forward to seeing him again soon, and I'm sure we will. Hey, and now it's time. Let's get back out on the streets. We got a bright, sunny day. Let's help out the down and out.